Hey guys, what's up? Um, I haven't sat down and done any detailed videos for any of my pages lately, so I thought I would sit down and update my brow routine for you guys, uh, cause it's changed pretty substantially since 2020, which I think is when I posted my last brow routine, but I don't believe it's available for anybody to see because I think I archived it and I do not want to unarchive it, so I just figured we would uh, re-update that. For brushes, I typically like to use an angled brow brush for my brows. Um, these are both by Morphe. This one is the M158. This one doesn't have a brush number, it's just a little bit thicker and it's from uh, a Morphe set of brushes. Also, if you knew me in high school, I'm sorry you had to look at my face. <laughs> Um, but even, yeah, if you knew me in high school and you still kind of know me now, I think that there's a very prominent, um, progress in the state of my eyebrows because I no longer look like somebody took a big giant Sharpie marker to my forehead and drew upside down Nike symbols. Um, I think that I've definitely progressed to, um, getting the routine down pat, um, and... Well, I would hope so. I went to makeup school. Um, <laughs> even from 2020, when I posted my last um, brow routine, I've kind of transitioned from that super bold and chiseled Instagram brow to something more natural. Um, in some of my makeup looks that I do solely for Instagram, I will do the Instagram brow, um, but currently I'm just doing this current routine that I'm about to show you and I think I like it a lot better. So there are two things that I use for this technique on myself personally. Sometimes I will use this Pears bar soap that's looking a little rough. Um, I This is solely for my eyebrows. Uh, and sometimes I'll use the Got To Be Ultra Glued Styling Gel. Um, so with this one, your brows are a little bit more flexible. Uh, your brow hairs will move throughout the day a little bit uh and it's just it feels a lot more natural and lighter on the face than this um and this is just when i don't want them to move um today i'm gonna use this guy and for my powder i'm currently just using this really beat up and worn out kiss um brow quad i literally only have this one left uh which is fine because that's all i use and i'm gonna use that um Morphe brush that does not have a number because uh, this one is a little bit more dense than the M158 uh, and I just like it better for applying powders. I like the M158 for doing pomades. I'm just going to load up my brush with that dark powder. You can also use a shadow um, that matches whatever you're going for. Um, I just like darker brows. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to start kind of in the middle of my brow here and I'm going to start brushing this product through to the tail end of my brow. I'm also not going to worry about it looking messy because I'm going to clean that up later. Okay, so once that tail end is filled in, uh, I'm going to take the residual product that is left on my brush and not dip back into the powder. I'm just going to start filling in this front part of my brow here with whatever's left on the brush. Okay, so once that tail end is filled in, uh, I'm gonna take the residual product that is left on my brush and not dip back into the powder. I'm just going to start filling in this front part of my brow here with whatever's left on the brush. On the bottom here, I'm going with the growth of my hair. And then when I get up into here, I'm gonna start flicking upwards. Again, not really caring if it's messy because we will fix that later. Also, if you feel like it's too dark in some places, just take a spoolie and run it through your brows to get rid of some of that pigment. As mentioned, I'm gonna use my Paris Bar Soap. I'm gonna use a spoolie. I'm just gonna get in there and coat the brush with soap. And then I'm gonna go in and start brushing it through my brow. And I'm gonna let it dry. Um, I'm just gonna take a foundation on a brush that looks like this. It's fairly flat as you can see. I'm gonna carve out the bottom of my brow. And then from there, I proceed with my makeup look. Sometimes, though, I should mention, before I go in with this soap, I will carve out the top of my brow as well. In instances where I'm doing an entire face of makeup, I will do that step before I put these soaps through my brows. Not so much when I'm just stopping here. 
I also carved out the top part of my tail a little bit just because that's what I was feeling today. Um, other than that, that's all I do for my brows on a day where I'm not doing anything else with my face.